I secretly paid five different mastering engineers to master the same song, ranging from 20 bucks on Fiverr to over 100 from Abbey Road. Now, I still haven't heard these tracks, but we're gonna listen and find out if higher prices meant higher quality. Okay, let's get started. So I have my original mix up here and then all five masters below. I'll let you hear a little bit of my original mix. We all knew these days will come. Can't seem to stop the rain and ease the pain. That's the verse there. Chorus is like this. And then there's kind of a louder, heavier part near the end. Now, I did not give any instructions. I just hired them and asked them to master the song. And actually, my assistant handled this entire process because I wanted to listen completely blind and nobody knew that this was for a YouTube video. All right, let's start listening to the master, starting with version one. This one sounds the best so far. That's the brightest. It's interesting to me that there's such a range in loudness. I mean, we have these last two, which are pretty loud. And then we have two versions, number three and number one, significantly quieter. Let's pull up a loudness meter. I'm just curious to see where they landed here. So here's version one. So nine and a half luffs. About minus eight on that one. Minus nine. So about one to two dB between them, but it's it's very audibly different. Man, this is gonna be tough. Um, I'm gonna start putting these in order from what I think is the best to the worst. So let's keep listening. I think version four is my favorite so far. It's pretty loud, but it's nice and full and it's bright without being overly bright. So far, I'm liking that one. Let's keep listening. This one seems to be missing some mid-range. This one's all right. I think version five is a little bit too bright. I wanted to have as big of a range as possible to compare here. So what I do know is that one of these masters was from someone on Fiverr for only 20 bucks. One was from a local small town studio for 60 bucks. One was from Sound Better for 70 bucks. And then there were two from some higher end studios. One was Metropolis Mastering, that was $90. And then the other was from Abbey Road Studios which was $130, but I still don't know which is which. I'm gonna try listening on my AirPods. Should give me a better idea of kind of how it translates in the real world and especially the low end as well. We all knew these days will come. Can't seem to stop the rain, ease the pain. Funny days that she's setting sun eclipse me. This one sounds pretty nice on these.
version three just sounds kind of thin. It sounds like there's a bit of a hole in the mids or the lower mids. It just, it doesn't sound that fat. And version five, I think it's just too hyped, both in the low and the high. Hear how much smoother that one is? Even though these are both loud, version four is a lot smoother than version five. Man, I think I've chosen my top two. I think version three would translate better because it has a more forward mid-range. Okay, I think I've made up my mind here. I'm gonna say version four is the best master. Then version two. And then three, one, and five. My assistant told me throughout doing this that certain engineers were asking for changes to my mix. So someone on Fiverr asked me to send the mix four or five dB quieter. Another one asked me to take the limiter off and have at least six dB of headroom. And this really surprised me. On Sound Better, two of the people we were looking into responded to the initial inquiry with a finished master. They basically mastered the song for free before we even agreed to hire them. And we didn't. And here's one I've never got before. The Small Town Studio sent me a list of 10 different locations in the song where he thought the breaths were too loud and said, if I wanted, I could adjust those breaths, turn them down and send it to him again. Now, none of these guys got an alternate version. They all got the exact same original mix. And here's a fascinating point. The two most expensive studios didn't say a word about the mix. My assistant told me that after she hired them, it was just a black box. You sent the file, heard nothing until you got a file download link back. Okay, it's time to find out who did what. I, I literally feel butterflies in my stomach right now. So the version I thought was in last place was labeled version number five. Let's find out who did version number five. Small Town Studio. Okay, last place, Small Town Studio, 66 bucks. Okay, I feel relieved. I was gonna be like super embarrassed if the last place one was like the most <laughs> expensive. Okay, uh, in fourth place, I put version one. So let's find out who version one was. Sound better, 70 bucks. Okay, interesting. The Fiverr master has beat the Small Town Studio and the Sound Better engineer. All right, in third place was version three. Who did version three? Abbey Road. What? No way. I'm surprised how quiet they left it. Okay, second place was version two. Who did version two? Metrop, you've gotta be kidding me. Okay, Metropolis, 92 bucks, got second place. Let's listen to that one really quick. Okay, well that only leaves one, version four, which I thought was the best master that I got here, you've got to be kidding me, <laughs> was the Fiverr master for $21.09. I am literally blown away. I, I'm not kidding you guys. Like when I was listening and going through these and I was like thinking version four sounded the best, I was like, absolutely. This is definitely either the Abbey Road or the Metropolis. I can just tell it's got the right amount of loudness. It's got nice full low mids. It's got the right amount of brightness. Man, this is utterly shocking. So this did not go the way I expected. I totally had a bias that the best to worst would just follow the price. And I guess it roughly did, except for the Fiverr guy beating everyone. So what can we learn from this? Well, first, the most obvious thing is that this dude needs to get off of Fiverr immediately and start charging a hundred bucks a song. And since he did so well, I'm gonna reveal who it was here. You guys can go and give him props and hire him for some work. And price is such a slippery thing, right? I mean, in the 60 to $70 range for mastering, 
I'd say I pretty much got what I paid for, but the cheapest guy was way undervaluing himself. And then the most expensive ones, they might have the fanciest studios and the biggest credits, but they didn't necessarily do a better job. And this is nothing new, right? Artists undervaluing themselves is a deeply ingrained problem. And I think that everyone needs to work on getting over their discomfort and awkwardness around just charging a reasonable rate, charging what you're worth. And another thing I wanna point out is that we did not hire any of the engineers who asked for a change to my mix. I printed this mix exactly as it is on purpose. And it is not squashed, it is not totally slammed like a brick wall. There's absolutely no reason for someone to be asking for a quieter mix of this song. The better you are, the less you need to talk. All right, if you start questioning my mix, I'm gonna start questioning you. And I much prefer the, the black box style of the high-end studios here, at least for delivering the initial master before we get into talking about revisions. And speaking of the initial master, do not, do not under any circumstances send free spec work before you've even been hired for the project. I was so surprised that two people did this. It comes across as super desperate and massively undervalues your work. I mean, if, if you say that you get paid to do something, then don't do it before you agree on getting paid. It, it makes no sense. I'm still so surprised by what happened here, but if you guys wanna hear some more comparisons of some of my mixes before and after mastering, go ahead and check out this video here, and I'll see you next time.